welcome, new project, W108 Mercedes-Benz, typical seats, typical headrest, uh, head um, yeah, and typical damages after 50 years. The leather is very, very dry. We get um, dry cracks here over uh, everywhere. It is already restored, but now is the time to change the leather. But we want to use a leather. What is typical for this age? So it's a vegetable tent leather. I have a vegetable tent crust leather. That means it is from the tannery, but no um, paint on the surface. It is not pigmented. So what we do is now we bring it to our friend Heiko, who is a upholsterer or a settler. He will remove the cover. He will open the stitches here, 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 and here on both seats. Then we get the cutting from him. We will paint it or will pigment it um, on the surface and we bring it back to him. He will seam it, cover it again, and then we will do the rest of the restoring. And um, also the zipper here, we will restore on the second headdress. We have a small crack here, we will restore it. And um, yeah, I think the nice good thing is when you have a friend or you have somebody who is um, um, open to, to do maybe a part job so that you can do just the paint job and the restoring job and um, your settler in your, in your neighborhood will do just the seaming and cutting job, then it's something what you can do by yourself. You just need a pop, uh, upholsterer or um, a settler who, who do the stitching, um, the stitching jobs. Okay, but now we go to Heiko. See you in a bit. Yeah, now in the um, workshop from Heiko, our upholsterer and a settler for the last 20 years. Um, so I spoke with him what we want and what we want is to change this parts here on both seats. Um, but Heiko say, be careful, it's an old seat, 50 years or older. You never know if the screws will work very good, if the plastic parts can work very well. And also when we lift the seats um, or the cover, Maybe we get a crack here inside. Maybe we don't get a crack inside. He promised me to be very, very careful that we don't have it. But if it will happen, it is also a vegetable tent leather with color on top, so we can change this also. Okay, now take a look over his shoulder, what he's doing. Thank you, Heiko, and go for it. So we start with losing the squeeze, careful, but also with a little bit power that we really get it out and um, they are open here some metal edges to get out the cover and um, on the process we have also opened the stitches uh, directly and um, yeah sometimes you need a little bit power to lift it but Heiko and me we get it yeah, going forward with open all the stitches to get out the leather piece what we want to change. And um, yeah, lucky situation under the polster or under the cover looks everything very well. So when we open or cut all the stitches, we have these four single pieces what we want to cut new. But before we can do this, we have to take a look over the over the height, over the leather height, checking um, in which quality it is and mark all these areas what we don't want to have in our new leather pieces. So we look for nature markers, scars, scratches, pigmented issues and so on and um, cover everything with a is a pen that when we in the next step put the original pieces on the leather to get the correcting size that we don't cut something inside what we don't want or what is not on a good quality so you see we cut very very proper so um, a bit or a bit more larger than that what we finally need but this is uh, four pieces what we want to pigment it in the workshop 
Yeah, that is all our four pieces or four. It's four two four because um, four for one seat. So finally eight pieces, and we start to clean with leather cleaning spirit, degrease it with leather cleaning spirit or with a degreaser, and then the next step is one um, thin layer of primer, not too much thin layer of primer. Dry it with a heat gun and then go through the leather paint. Two, one and a half, two thin layers of leather paint to pigment it. The leather, nothing more. That is enough. Dry it with a heat gun between the layers. Dry it finally with a heat gun also, of course. And the next step is top coat. We did a mix of um, a bit more gloss, so 40% gloss, 60% matte, and then 3% of the crosslinker, and then one, one and a half layers, one and a half, two layers is what we recommend. Um, thin, of course, um, from the top coat on it. Also, dry it with a heat gun between and dry it finally and then back to the workshop to Heiko and cut it finally and seam it. And yeah, you see all seeds 50 years and older can get a crack. So we have to change um, two pieces more of leather, but we don't pigment it before. So we um, will pigment it later, but you can see this in few seconds still here some pictures from the workshop from the awesome job yeah a few pictures from the workshop Heiko our settler did an amazing job and uh, we had a lucky situation that all over the condition is very well but 50 years you never know what's happened and what was happened is that one piece of leather or two pieces are broken um, or we get a cut here inside so we say okay we want to do it proper so we will change this part of leather also we don't pigment it before we seam it or stitch it so you see now here's the new part um, here's um, also a new part here's the old part what we do now is um, we mix and match the color, bring everything in one nice looking and then the final words in a few seconds. So degrease again with leather cleaning spirit or with a degreaser. In this step um, you have to do it very proper because um, the, the settler, the polsterer um, was this area touching very often. It's a very porous, open porous leather, so every grease, every other liquid sucks very quickly inside. So um, just degrease it very proper that you don't have any issues later with the bounding of the pigment. And um, yeah, let it dry by himself. Not with a heat gun, is that what we recommend? You can use a heat gun, uh, you um, have a time issue but um, we recommend to let it dry by himself. Filter the color, of course, is something what you can do between when you wait that it's dry. And then spray a thin layer of primer on it, let it dry, and then go forward with the, with the color top with a, a color layer, so use leather color. And uh, we recommend to spray um, the first layer very, very thin, just cloudy, to, to tint it a little bit and um, don't spray too much on it. Don't try to cover up everything in one step. The issue is um, that, you, that the color will um, run down and um, then it looks very very unprofessional so do it do it slowly multi-time layers thin layers is much more better than um, two three thick layers and um, that's just easier and you will see here also I will use a sponge because on the edges I did a little bit too much 
and um, but you can dab it, dry it with a heat gun, and just spray the one, two final thin layers of color that it looks very good. Um, on the stitches, on the type, uh, on the tube, you have to you have to spray a little bit more proper with more pressure maybe to get really the color inside of the edges. But um, yeah, that's something what you will see by the doing. Okay, finally, of course, um, top coat, the clear coat, again with um, three pros and crosslinker, two, uh, one, one a half, or two, two and a half, um, or one and a half until two layers, um, not too much, but also not too less um, of the top coat. And then, yeah, we put everything together. And next day, the final step to finish the job. After the paint job, the pigmented job, wait one day that everything dry very well. And then um, we recommend for vintage cars, for cars or leather, what is older than 18, 20 years. This is 50 years plus, so our leather preserver fat elephant to care.